Good morning, good morning. So get straight into it. I'm watching like, you know, the Hafiz break or the breakdown of Hafiz's uh, latest interviews or last two interviews, one with Coach Greg Adams. I watched that like a day or so ago. And then now the one with um, uh, just pearly things. And uh, I'm watching Chisa Zed do his breakdown. So Chisa Zed doing the breakdown here. And it, it's just kind of crazy. And it's like, I've been talking about this for a while. I left this shit in the comment section um, of other videos. Like the lines are being drawn for this purple pill war. And I, again, like, I don't think I'm making some like big, you know, grandiose prediction or something like that. But he's like, you know, it's like, if you don't see the shit happening, like, these motherfuckers is getting ready to fucking battle it out. The women will start to pick a side. They will be, quote unquote, stronger because they will have more people. They will have more talking heads. They will have more mouths, so on and so forth. But the battle's already lost, right? Like, we've already won in terms of just red pill ideology, getting out there, changing things, so on and so forth. Um, and people will come back to this type of stuff. You lay it. You lay it out, and um, you lay it out, and people will come back to it. So, I like, I have no problem with that. And I'm not trying to say, like, hey, listen, you you may have killed me, but you have already lost the war. <laughs> you know that type of shit. I'm really just looking at it like the mindset has changed with people. Like, you you can't just do what you what you've been doing in the past and thinking it's going to be okay. The environment does not support it, and also the mentality of the people do not support it. So you can't even be delusional. Like, it's fucking with people's delusions. But I'm listening to Hafiz, and the way he's, like, going at this stuff, he's very combative, very, uh, like, aggressive, uh, not just because, like, pearly things is some woman. Like, he was doing the same thing with Coach Greg Adams. You know, hey, can I talk? Can I talk? Talking over people, getting really excited and animated and all this other shit. And Coach Greg Adams is just sitting there chilling in his fucking hoodie and, like... Yeah, 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 I don't believe in God. <laughs> like, you know, Fees is getting super triggered and type shit, right? And, like, you know, people always say, like, hey, when you get triggered, you lose. And I don't totally believe that. Like, you know, you can get really mad at somebody and it's like, listen, you sound fucking stupid. Oh, you lost because you, you lost your fucking, your male frame. It's like, no, 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 no. You're dumb. <laughs> like, that doesn't, that doesn't change because I'm losing it and I'm being fucking aggressive and mad. You know, um, so it, that's like, that's the thing, right? Like people do that shit and it's just like, all right, cool. That's like very immature the way people act like that. And they do that type of shit. And that gets on my fucking nerves sometimes. Um, but I'm like listening to a fees and the way he's acting, the way he's saying these things, you know, or the, like the way in which he like the, the long routes he takes to answer certain things and doesn't really get to the point. And then you see somebody like just pearly things, uh, this woman who is fairly new to the space just come in and just start saying all this stuff and like you know making points you know being very concise you understand what she's saying you don't get lost in the words or the sauce so to speak like with Hafiz like you're getting lost in what this guy's saying like this guy is just <laughs> there's just some other shit that, like there's so much shit that he's doing and it's just like bro just just answer the question like I, I get you want to make a point and bring in all these things but like answer the question and even like his, um, not bias, but uh, like just love and, and admiration for Jordan, Jordan Peterson. I like Jordan Peterson too, but just the way he goes about it, man, it's just like, whoa, whoa, whoa calm down. <laughs> get off that man's, you know, I don't want to say get off his dick, but I was like, you know, get off the man's book or something. I don't know. But like, you need to really kind of calm down, man, because the way you're acting about this shit is a little bit on the ridiculous side. Like, hold up. Like, pump your fucking brakes. So, when you hear him talking, it's just... I, I'm just sitting here, and I'm listening to it, and I'm like, how is this... Like, what happened to this guy? You know? Um, he used to say different things. You know? Uh, this could be... You know, some people point out, like, hey, him, he's trying to clean up his act, so to speak, or to clean up his message so that he can actually reach... Uh, quote unquote wider audience and uh, reach a uh, reach reach a wider audience and then get it to where oh we got a deer out there I don't know if you can see nah you can't see that far yeah my long guy just like shot one back there a couple hundred pounds it looks like they said it was like a two year old 
two year old um, female or for two year old doe, I think is what they call them. Um, but yeah, I'm just like listening to it, and he's like, okay, you know, these are people that are may have been red pill before. They're changing the way they they changing their rhetoric a little bit. They're changing the things that they are talking about in terms of subject matter. Um, they're changing the way in which they talk about it, you know, especially in front of other people. Um, of course, the constant, hey, I'm married, hey, I'm married, hey, I'm married, hey, I'm married. If it works for me, it can work for anybody. And it's just like, bro, like, I don't even know what your woman looks like. I don't fucking care. It doesn't fucking matter. But, like, you just got married. Like, the shit doesn't always break in the first, like, five years man it takes time like there's not a lot there's guys out there that are paying eight years in child support you know meaning that they were there for the first 10 years of like you know first 10 years of the the relationship the marriage what have you and they weren't on child support they're not getting at they're not getting it's, it's not said hey listen you know uh we're gonna make this retroactive or anything like that we're gonna go back and you know because you didn't pay these previous years or something like that I'm just looking at it and I'm like, your arguments are so weak because you're putting in like a lot of things that are beliefs and the beliefs are fine or were fine when the environment supported those beliefs. But now those beliefs are different. I would agree with him. A 10% difference in terms of the marriage rate or our divorce rate is, I think that's substantial. I think that's pretty big. You know, like I won't, I won't like... I won't scoff at that. I won't be like, oh, wow, you know, wow, there's a lot more people staying married. You know, I won't scoff at that. But what kind of gets me, though, is when you're looking at this type of stuff and then you just ignore the reality. You ignore what so many people are coming out and saying in terms of this space and saying, hey, listen, there's a problem here. It needs to be fixed. Our addresses are, we, you need to address our grievances before we come to your address. Like I've said that in previous videos. Or like, hey, you, you can't just ignore us. You can't act like we're not here. You can't act like we're not having this problem and then expect us to keep on paying taxes, to keep on paying this child support and all types of other shit and, and other things to the government where it's just like, yo, what, what type of return are we getting as men um, in this society when it comes to our own, like, you know, the work that we've done and everything else, like, this this is, quote, unquote, not fair. Like, you can't fucking do that shit and expect us to be like, hey, well, you know, we're okay with it. Uh, no, that's not going to fucking fly. You can't just act like, hey, you know, um, you can't act like, you can't act like we're not here. Like, that's the shit that like it's just like you hear somebody like Hafiz come on and he's like yo everybody shut up it's not that big a deal and it's just like bitch are you crazy yo I have a fucking problem here and I'm not the only one which is why this space has grown so much why these changes have actually been rolled out in terms of our society in terms of the mindset the zeitgeist like this is why these things are coming out and these are th these are problems but for you to just come out and say, hey, listen, you know, it's really not that bad or it's getting better. I, you know, I've heard other people say it before. Yo, how long do we have to wait? How long do we have to wait before we like before we can say, hey, listen, yeah, man, um, this is a problem. Y'all is right. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit is kind of. That shit is wild to me. Um, yeah, that shit is wild to me. Because as much as we try to put the information out there, help others, um, I think we're going to be driven underground. And I'm not even trying to say that to be like, oh my God, be scared. You know, we will be driven out, you know, and, and, and treated as lepers, as, as rebels, exiled to an island like Napoleon or some shit like that. Nah, I'm, I'm just saying a lot of people will take this 
And then after a while, the former quote unquote heroes will, co- will become the villains. So keep that in mind as this shit is going on. Like, we will be seen as villains. I won't go into it because I'll be blabbing. I'm kind of hungry and I got a couple things I got to do before I get my dog out to the kennel because I'm going to be in Atlanta in ATL this weekend uh, looking at cars. Um, I saw there's an Aston Martin, the Aston Martin uh, DBS V12. Uh, So I'm going to go look that up or look at that. Oh, yes. V12 Super Legera, Super Legera. I don't know how you pronounce it. But I'm going to check it out. Um, And that's just something I do want to order in the future. After the S580 comes in. I'll uh, I'll look at paying off my house most likely. And then going ahead and getting that vehicle. Is the way it's looking. Um, And even before that I'm going to have to get like a whole. Like a, a structure. To hold the vehicles and shit. Especially that car. I probably like just keep that in the back or some shit. Like take it out every so fucking every so often. But um yeah. So I will be in Atlanta this weekend. Uh I only will be there for a day. So I'll be like hitting up one or two people. Close friends and shit like that. And uh, spending time up there. I don't think I'm going to spend like Saturday night. I think I'll be driving back down Saturday night. Uh, cause I do have some work I got to do for, uh, to prepare for Monday and, uh, get some, I got to get like some planning and stuff done and also catch up on some work as well. Cause I haven't, there's like a lot of stuff I've been like neglecting cause I've been just doing a lot of fucking studying, man. A lot of new technologies and information that I have to like become not a subject matter expert on, but like get to know and then eventually become an SME on but that being said hey listen love you always understand that there will be a purple pill war there are the lines are already being drawn um more and more people that were blue pill or even women that want a better place um in the new future so to speak want a softer landing um and don't want to have to deal with the harshness of society, this whole soccer era and all this other stuff. And who knows, you know, uh, actually, I won't get into that. I won't get into that. This one wife was talking about how she doesn't pay her, but she doesn't even know who her mortgage is paid to. And it's like, wow, that sounds like soft girl life. So who knew, you know, wife life is soft girl life. But, you know, but I won't really get into that too deep. I just, I don't want to just leave people like hanging in that shit. But, um... You have to understand a lot of these people just like a lot of these women just want to be kids again. Like no responsibility, but be able to throw temper tantrums and have a princess complex and be able to say whatever they want, do whatever they want. And then you just adhere to it like they're a child. What they don't what they don't remember is that as a child, that shit didn't fly. Go ahead. Go outside and pick your switch. And that's what life is doing. You go outside pick your switch and a lot of women don't see that they're picking their switch they're picking that little branch up off the tree to get their ass beat with because they're going out here fucking around doing fuck shit having oops babies corona babies and all this other shit and then actually out here talking about well um i deserve this and i deserve that and uh, on kendra g's show kevin samuels before that and all these other dating shows and shit like that and you know people are acting as if like you know, these motherfuckers ain't really out here picking their own switch to get their ass beat with. And, and that's fucking crazy. Like, like uh, people really picking the shit that's beating their ass. The same thing can go for finances, your mentality, whatever. Motherfuckers is out here picking their own switch and they don't even know it. Damn, that's like, damn, muff, damn, right there. Motherfuckers is picking their own switch to get for reality to beat their ass. All right, peace.